Instagram, yeah. you are likely familiar with the weekly-ish series of Cocktails with Jeff. Yeah. So here for one night only out of the Lennox Hall kitchen, we have Cocktails with Jeff. Hey! Thank you, Mallory. Thank you, Jay. Um, if you've seen Cocktails with Jeff, you probably know that it is absolutely not rehearsed, so you should know that I haven't prepared a single thing for this. It's completely off the cuff. But if you've been to the bar, you have noticed that there are two signature cocktails tonight. One is Allison's signature cocktail, which is the Moscow Mule, and the other is my signature cocktail, which is the Spicy Jalapeno Margarita. You so, should know ooh. I actually picked both cocktails. That's <laughs> Yeah, fair enough. And you're wearing the pants in the back. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about that. Not, no. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to make both of those for you tonight quickly and efficiently so we can all get back to partying. So let's start with a simpler of the two, the Moscow Mule. So two ingredients, real simple here. We're going to start with vodka. There are three ingredients. Three ingredients. Three ingredients. <laughs> Either way, we start with vodka. All right, uh, this one's real simple. We're going to do it. Um, on ice, because you're right, there are three ingredients. So let's throw some ice in a shaker. Uh-huh, uh-huh. No one's ever made a Moscow mule in a shaker before. No, listen. Hey. <laughs> special event. There we go. This is it's a very special Moscow mule. Yeah. That's because I really want to infuse the lime into this Moscow mule. So we're going to do one, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> there we go. Two limes into the shaker with the vodka. Jeff, I have a question for yes. you. Yeah. So, uh, what is the origin of the name Moscow Mule? Oh, okay, great question. So, the Moscow Mule, it was made by people in a really, like, frigid environment. Uh, and so they saw out in the field their, their mules uh, enjoying the warmth, and they had a sip of this, and they said, oh, that's kind of spicy, that's kind of warm. I think this tastes like a mule to me. I feel like a mule after drinking it. So that's how it, that's how it comes about, yeah. That sounds like facts. Yeah, totally, totally fact. Just nobody, put your phones away. Put your phone away. Don't look that up. Uh, so we've got the, the lime infused with the vodka, and we're just going to quickly top it up with ginger beer. Uh, this is a Grizzly Paw Soda Company, local company. We absolutely love them. Thank you, Grizzly Paw, for sponsoring today. I have a question, I have a question. Yes. Can you use ginger ale as an old No! Don't use ginger ale. Great question. I was going to ask a question. Thank you, Michaela. Yeah. 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 So the difference between ginger ale and ginger beer is that if you don't want to sound like an absolute prick, you ask for ginger beer, which is contrary to if you're a, a beer drinker, if you want to sound like an absolute prick, you sound, ask for ale. So it's a little bit it's interchangeable. You ask for ale, you're a dick. You ask for ginger beer, you're a dick. Anyway, the point is... <laughs> Yes, Al. That's for me, yes? It is indeed. <laughs> that, folks, is the last one. Now, we are going to move on to the more complicated of two, the margarita, which I've been told I'm actually supposed to use the shaker for, so let's start with putting some ice in the shaker. Do you want to know quick fact while you do that? Hi, can I say something? I have no idea what Kayla was going to be so involved. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we but like I, to see. But I should have known. Yes. Did you know James Bond, uh -huh. why he takes the drinks shaken is because sure. it gets you less drunk so that he can go fight back. Wow. That's absolutely not what we want tonight. Nobody yeah. is fighting back. Nobody's getting shaken. Back. <laughs> we're not having it. Stir everything. We're not, Stir everything. We're not shaking anything. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with ice in the shaker. Uh, we are gonna go to. I have a very important question. Yes, Al. Why is there no rimmer here tonight? Well, here's what the thing is. You're gonna you're gonna try to dip this in a nice rimmer, unless of course you've ordered your rimmer from Amazon and the promised delivery date happens after your wedding and it didn't arrive. Those glasses over there are probably going to be rimmed. These ones are not. So uh, I have but, another question. Yes, Al. Yes. So I know that our guests tonight are drinking Jose Cuervo, and you seem to be drinking Patron. Yeah, Would you like gonna, to comment on that? You're going to want to start with a really nice tequila, unless, of course, you're hosting a wedding, in which case you want to be as cheap as possible. <laughs> which, I, again, highly recommend Costco. Huh? Really good prices on bad, bad tequila. <laughs> so we are going to put an ounce, uh, two ounces of, of Patron in there, seal that up, and if you ask nicely, that Patron is now up for grabs. Thank you. Um, 
We are going to put some imaginary jalapenos in there because the stuff over there already has the jalapenos in it. And I didn't want to cut jalapenos in front of you guys tonight, <laughs> so we're not going to do it. But the magic ratio is uh, two, uh, sorry, three, two, one, three, two, one. So we're going to do three parts of, of tequila, which is two ounces, two parts of lime juice. So let's do that first. Here it is. Lime juice, which is any math bust out there? Uh, 66% of two ounces is one point. This, this. Ask Michaela, she knows. <laughs> yeah, sure. One, one and three quarters ounces. There you go. We're just doing a little bit under one and a half ounces. Uh, one and a half ounces. We're just doing a little bit under one and a half ounces of lime juice. And then, of course, uh, half of whatever the heck that was of triple sec, which is probably like uh, three quarters of an ounce. We're going to put that into the glass because I forgot it's supposed to go in the shaker. So in the shaker goes, and then give it a good proper shake. Now, most of you will be used to a really sweet margarita. This is not that. This is, this is mostly on the floor. But uh, this is not going to be your sugary margarita. This is going to be a little bit spicy.